Good morning, everybody. Dave here. Welcome back. It is a brisk 24 degrees Fahrenheit here in Southeast Virginia. Um, we're continuing uh, disc booperating this particular stack of uh, pallets, and uh, this particular stack will be used to finish this little uh, extension to the uh, shed. I'm just uh, completely out of room, and it's got quite tight in there. And, when I start working on stuff, the sawdust can get rather intense, so I'm going to do something about that. All that. But, uh, it is clear and cold. And, uh, depending upon where you are, I think it's right at 24 Fahrenheit here. You go up a few miles to the north here, it's like 21. No snow. It's clear. And the temperature should warm up quite a bit here. Well, let's call it about 43 Fahrenheit today, which is normal for this time of the year here. This is uh, some of the wood from the pallet slats, and uh, I feel I could probably get a, more than enough between what you see here and uh, the other stack, and I, I've got a bunch more I can go retrieve. And Anyway, I've been working inside the old wood shop here, and getting everything all straightened up and everything but it's uh it served me well um for a number of years and uh we're gonna knock this out rearrange this particular two by four and shift it over slightly and kind of reinforce the uh the ridge up here then go create a entrance there and we'll keep most of this wall intact but because uh, it'll you know give a place to hang uh, or put shelves up and stuff like that but I've been wanting to get a, a, a wooden lathe for a long time now and uh, I think once I get this particular extension done that'll enable me to do that and um, put a little uh, dust collection system up in here nothing uh, too extravagant but anyway that's what we're up to today uh, so, oh yeah let me show you something here we had gone camping and the wind had gotten so bad we uh, experienced a comp some punctures from little sticks and twigs and everything so I brought the tent we got finished we got the tent back over to hit it to our property and uh, we got some holes to patch up I used duct tape over the night well, that's about five days ago now, six days ago, I guess. But anyway, um, we'll clean out the uh, stove that's in the other shed, and you can see the uh, pipe here. I mean, the stove did great. Well, what did this was the winds had gotten so intense, it had uh, poked the holes through it. And there you go. And uh, I just noticed uh, here. The limbs and the leaves and everything had gotten so intense over here on the neighbor's yard that you can see a, a limb up there. Of course, uh, he needs to get up there and do something about all that, but it was flat blowing there for a while. I've had that gust of like 55 miles an hour. And they said we're only about six miles from the uh, Atlantic Ocean. So, but there we go. We'll get this tent patched up, work on the shed a little bit, uh, uh, do some more garden work, and we got a, a, a ton of leaves to pick up again. And it's hard to believe this was about a week ago, all this was basically picked up. And uh, now it's uh, right back where it was. That's okay. We'll send. We'll just, I got two or three different uh, machines that can mulch them up, and uh, we'll heap them up and turn them into compost and they'll be what produces next year's uh, tomatoes and uh, fruits off the trees and whatnot but as you can see there's <laughs> not, not, not much in the way of leaves left now on any of the fruit trees there's like what about 16 of them and there's still some leaves that need to come down off the main trees but uh, I understand it's supposed to get kind of stormy again on Friday about two days from now so any event but yeah these, these little twigs man and that's all it was just little twigs but 
they come out of that tree with such force it poked holes in there so we got so got that patch kit in there and while we got it uh, pitched up like this we'll go ahead and uh, check the seams again been a good tent but uh, i think next year we'll have to do something different anyway let's uh get ready to take care of some stuff all right everybody have a great day